Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the oil and filter on a uh, 2013 Kia Soul. So uh, let me lift the vehicle up and I'll show you uh, how to get started on it. Okay, now that we got the vehicle up on the lift, I'm going to show you where the oil drain plug is and the oil filter. Looking at it from the bottom, this is on the passenger side of the car now. This is the oil drain plug right here in the bottom of the oil pan and then this is the filter. So let me get a, a ratchet and we're going to take out the plug first and let it drain out and then we're going to remove the filter. So this is a 17 millimeter drain plug. So let me grab the tools and we'll get started. Obviously you're going to have a bucket underneath to catch the, uh, the fluid that comes out. Uh, remember, you're going to go counterclockwise to remove it and clockwise to reinstall it. So you can just break it loose, bring your bucket up the drain, and then take out your drain plug. I always wear gloves because the oil is pretty nasty on your hands. the oil from the filter as well as from the uh, from the drain plug. Okay. Uh, I use different type of tools to get this out. You can use one that's a cup like this that fits over the top of the filter or you can use my favorite is this one here. It just hooks around the, uh, the outside of the filter and then you can just take it and loosen it up and then uh, once you have it loose enough you turn it by hand you have a bucket under it because a considerable amount of oil is going to come out of the filter. One little tip of information I want to just extend to you. When you take the old filter down, always make sure that this O-ring right here comes off with it because sometimes this O-ring will remain up on the housing itself. Alright, so we let the oil drain out of the, uh, the oil oil pan and we'll let it drain out until it stops running. And when you install the oil filter you're putting a very light bead of oil around on here. You can use the oil that's coming out of here just a little bit on the filter screw it right back up where it came from. Tighten it up as tight as you can make it by hand. You don't need to tighten it with a tool because you'll, you'll damage the filter or over tighten it. And uh, wipe off all the excess oil underneath the bottom because you don't want to have it dripping all over your driveway or the street or whatever. So we're going to let this drain out a little bit more, and once it finishes draining, we'll come right back. Okay, once your oil finishes draining out, we're going to take the oil drain plug and we're going to reinstall it. Make sure you still have your gasket that it didn't fall off when you took the, the oil plug out. That's the gasket right here on the, uh, the plug. Screw it in by hand, as far as you can by hand. Tighten it all the way down. Then you grab your ratchet, and you're going to go clockwise 
to uh, to tighten it. Bring it until it's tight, and you go just a little bit more. Remember, you don't want to go too tight. You don't want to strip out the oil drain pan. Okay, dry everything off underneath the bottom so you don't have any drips on the ground. And that's it. The oil plug is in, the oil filter is on. Now we're going to lower it down and we're going to put the oil in. Okay, once you've got the hood open, you're going to come over to the top of the, uh, the engine itself. And that's where the oil uh, goes back into. Uh, as you can see, it calls for a, a 5W20 motor oil, which is exactly what we're going to put in. You take the cap off, and well, obviously we're going to use that again later. So just put it someplace where you're not going to drop it. Um, this car calls for it calls for um, 3.5 watts of oil, so we're going to put in three and a half quarts, and uh, then we're going to start it up and uh, check the oil level. So let's get the, uh, the oil into the car and uh, we'll put the cap back on. And we'll put the cap back on when we start it because we don't want a little splash of oil when the engine is running. We'll start it and we'll let it run for a couple of seconds. Now that we've had the car running for just a couple of seconds, take the, dip, the dipstick out of the car. You wipe the dipstick down so it's clean. These are your, your marks that you're supposed to fill it to. That's the full mark. That's the low mark. So you put the stick back inside the, uh, the engine, pull it back out, and take a look and see where the oil level is. And as you can see, it's going to take a little bit more oil, probably about another quarter to a half a quart. So let's put that in there and we'll, uh, we'll get it right up to the full bar. Remember, it's easier to put in additional oil than to try to take out. Okay, we'll wait a second and we'll take the stick back out. Again, wipe the stick down, make sure it's nice and clean. Put it back in the engine as far down as it goes. Pull it back out and check to see where the oil is. And here it is exactly to the full mark right now. So we've done our job. The oil is full. Put the stick back in the engine. Remove the uh, funnel. Put the uh, oil cap back on the car. Make sure it screws down straight. And we'll hear a click. And that's it. Oil change is done, and then the last thing you want to do, obviously, is take a look underneath the car and make sure your oil filter is not leaking, and if you have no leaks, then you're, you're good to go. All right, thanks for watching. Good luck. If you need any help, just drop me a line. See you on the next one.